I grew up in Huntsville, Texas, and I actually grew up in the country, and I always rode horses, and my family always rodeoed and roped, and, and that's how I grew up in the rodeo industry. Tell me about when John Douch uh, first showed up here at your place. When he first showed up, he walked right through that gate with his dad, and they had a little horse they wanted to sell. And I said, John, he you know, he run some for me and show me, and he, no, sir. My parents told me to get on him and ride him, and I wouldn't get on him. I said, John, you ain't gonna ride that horse and show me what he is. He said, mm -mm, he crazy. Little did I know that, that that little encounter right there in the corner of the box was gonna be the start of a, a wonderful relationship, a blessing to Jenna and I, and he was such a blessing to us after such a difficult time. You know, we lost Brody, he was he was just coming around, you know, just starting just barely. About the time you lost your son, Three John. or two years later, really. But I knew who he was after. then, you know, yeah. I knew who he was and I was watching, he was a kid that could row. But when he came around after that, you know, it was something, I think I was, I was needing somebody and he was needing somebody. What did you guys see in John Douch that uh, made him different than everybody else? John's always been that kid that when he showed up that day to row, you knew that he was going to get better that day. He would flank and tie for hours. I mean, you know, you have to tell him, stop, let's row. You know, it was a big deal for me to go rope with Joey. You know, not many kids get to go rope, and I was blessed to go rope and him to teach me all he know and make me better. And now I'm 25 years old and still at Joe's Roping. 